Hey guys, so today is day nine, right? Nine of your videos. Day nine. Day nine. And we're going window shopping. Like, not walking through town looking in windows. <laughs> we're like actually <laughs> shopping for windows. <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? Yeah, we're going window shopping. Yeah, hey. we're shopping for windows. I didn't even think about that. Buying windows, not looking through them. And so today we're gonna look for windows for the bathroom and for the kitchen because those are the two most important ones for us to have right now but so that we can, wait, so that we can um, get the walls done in, but, in those two rooms. But, but what? We have to look through the windows to buy them. Oh, for Pete's sake. Anyway, so because we won't have air conditioning, we're trying to find windows that kind of like crank out like this or something so that we can leave them open when it rains and my animals won't die in the summertime. <laughs> so anyway, we're headed to a local outlet kind of thing. I mean, that's what it is, right? It's an outlet mm -hmm. to see what he's got. Some uh, seconds, new. they're all new windows, they're either, uh, but they're all seconds that came from uh, local window producers that we have here in the mid-Ohio Valley. One of them is uh, one of the window producers that's here is Symington. Uh, they're out in the Ellen Borough, uh, area. And the other one is Wincor Windows that's in our area. And they're here in, in uh, Parkersburg, just real close to us, like five or 10 minutes away from us. Yeah. But there are seconds from those window manufacturers. So we're gonna go take a look at those and see if some of their new seconds will be good enough to do in our uh, new construction build. Yeah, so we're on our way there And to look through the windows. Whatever. So we'll see you in a bit. Hey. Huh? Hey, stud. Hi. So we're in Lowe's now, and uh, we forgot to film in the window place. But we're getting lumber to do the framing around the windows. The two that we're going to install today, anyway. And some little plumbing bits and pieces for uh, the sink in the bathroom. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yep. Plumbing in the sink. Not a professional disclaimer. Don't try this at home. He's also never installed a window a day in his life. No, nope, never done a window. Don't try this at home. Neither have I, so this is going to be interesting. But, um, so when we get back out to the truck, we'll show you the windows that we have. Um, anyway, so that's it for now. Just, just remember, putty and paint will make her what she ain't. Stop that. <laughs> kind of jumping around here and there depending on what I've got available what I've got to uh, finish or get one project part way done with uh, so let me show you up close what we got here let's see All right, let's see if we can get the window to not be so bright. Little double hung window. We picked up at the window outlet place. Cute little window. A little squeaky. But it sure does work good. This is our little sink that we got from Ikea. I've got some hardware out in the truck for it. Come with all these little extras, little hooks on the side. It's got a shelf in it. Well, it's in the bottom. 
Anyway, this is going to be another neat little thing that I'm going to get started on, but some of you may have not seen this. This is the first time I've ever seen it. But the uh, sink just conserves space, does not have a round pipe coming out of the bottom of the sink. See? That's your drain. But to conserve space, they made it oval. That's pretty neat. When I get to plumbing that in, I'll, uh, I'll go a little bit more in depth on that. Pretty neat little setup. Got some walls here. Starting to. That's going to give you a general idea of how big the bathroom's going to be. Which overall measurements... I don't remember. I'll have to see where the tape is. But uh, see what the overall measurements is because I don't remember. Get her out here. Overall measurements is. Seventy nine inches. Left hand is on the why I'm doing this with my right hand. Seventy nine by seventy nine inches by seventy six inches. So about six foot, a little over six foot by six foot is what the bathroom is. Which I guess to have a six foot by six foot when we uh, plotted out how much space we were going to need for everything. So that gives you an idea of the bathroom. Got the window centered over the little sink. Now I don't have this framing over here done yet. I kind of caught to a halt there. That way I can get back in behind the wood fired hot water tank and do my piping there. So like I said, I just do a little bit until I know it is or is not gonna be in my way. And then we have this little window here. This was the second one that we got. And uh, we're not going to have any HVAC in this house. Uh, no uh, air conditioning, no central, nothing. So, uh, of course, that little window is a, a double hung. Uh, this is an awning type window. That way we can have the window open uh, while it's raining, bad weather, so on and so forth, and still have some airflow in the house. Nice little window. Oh, oh, the boss is here. Hi, I'm leaving. Are you? Yeah. Oh. Okay, but with the lack of HVAC, this will be nice for, like I said, when it's raining, so on and so forth, we can close this down a little bit. Still be able to have some ventilation in here. But these are really nice windows. <clears throat> I like them, got a real good deal on them. And then once we got to that point, we had to get a sink in here. As you all know, that was just a, a blank cabinet, or not a blank cabinet, a blank countertop when we got it. So we went and got us a, uh, Single bowl, sink, a little hardware, a little pull down. So for the end of the day, we got a lot done today. It was obviously much more of a mess than this. Uh, got a rough idea for a gang box there where my one of my plugins is going to go for the solar power. I got my other gang box up there. That one's going to be for the fridge. 
and uh, we'll get it down in behind the fridge because I still got to pull all that stuff out to uh, get back in there and get some wall covering and some insulation on. Uh, but yeah, for the end of the day, we got a lot done. Little sink put together. It's pretty busy. So on the next one, uh, like I said earlier, I got some composting stuff I need to take care of. We're going to take you along for a little composting, a little information, a little Q&A, and, &A, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thank you for joining in with us, watching our videos here, enjoying this little journey with us. We're happy to have you. We'd like you to make sure that you like and subscribe. Leave comments, ask questions. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.